Good day, beautiful people, and all praise to only the Almighty Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The new moon and Sabbath days in Scripture. I put a video out about the new moon and I explained how my queen and I follow the Sabbath. I found a scripture that forces me to change what I had previously said. I had said that the day after the new moon was day one, and from there you count seven days and observe the Sabbath. I found that the new moon is day one, and we count from there. First, let's establish what and when the new moon is. The fake Jews say that the new moon is when you see the first sliver of the moon. They also say the new moon is when you can't see a moon at all, which makes no sense because there's no moon. Some of our people are beginning the new moon tonight with no moon, and some of our people are starting it on the 11th, where there's just a sliver of a moon. These people are wrong, so let's dig into the scripture. Genesis 1, 14 through 16, and I read, And the Most High said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, to divide between day and night, and to let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for light in the firmament, firmament of the heaven, so as to shine upon the earth. And it was so. And the Most High made the two great lights, the greater light for regulating the day and the lesser light for regulating the night. The stars also. The Most High says he created two great lights. He didn't say he created a great light for the day and a sliver of light for the night that was going to grow into a great light. He said he created a great light. He created a full moon from the light or for the light of the night. Everything after that is just the moon cycle. Psalms 81, 3, and I read, Blow the horn at the new moon, at the full moon, for our feast day. We have to unlearn, family. The lies told about the new moon were given to us by our enemies. The Most High created a great light. That would be a full moon, not a sliver. Not a black sky with no moon visible. He created a full moon. The other moon phases are just part of the cycle. The Almighty Creator tells us that the new moon is the full moon. Proof that day one is our new moon and we'll talk about the Sabbath. 1 Samuel 20, 24 to 27, and I read, so David hides himself in the field, and the new month arrives, or the new moon, and the king comes to the table to eat, and he sat upon his seat as in former times, even on his seat by the wall. And he went before Jonathan and Abner, sat on one side of Saul, and the place of David was empty. And Saul said nothing on that day, for he said, it seems to have fallen out that he is not clean because he, is not, he has not purified himself. And it came to pass on the morrow, on the second day of the month, that the place of David was empty. And it came to pass on the morrow, the day after the new moon, on the second day of the month, that the place of David was empty. This shows us that day one is the new moon day and the next day is day two of the month. Let's go to the lunar calendar and see how our Sabbaths fall into place. So here is the lunar calendar for this month. Today is the ninth and we have some people starting, um, starting their new moon or the new month today. Others are starting it on the 11th when they see the first sliver. 
The start of this new month is on the 22nd, on the full moon. So this is day one, and what you do is count seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's when the Shabbat is, on the seventh day. And then you count seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Sabbaths fall on the same day all month until the next new moon. So, new moon is on the 22nd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Sabbath is on Saturday for this next month. And it'll be Saturday the whole month until the new moon. One thing that concerns and confuses people is that some months have 30 days and some 31, etc. Our forefathers didn't use Greek and Roman calendars. They used the moon. Our captors created their calendars to change our times and to throw us off of our Sabbaths. They've done this by programming us to look away from our moon and to look at their Gregorian calendar daily. What my queen and I do is just consider those extra days. Um, let me back up. What my queen and I do is towards the end of the month when you have those extra days, um, we just consider them as just extra days until the new moon comes. Then we repeat the process starting with day one or new moon day. Unlearn the heathen ways and abide by the Most High's words in our Book of Remembrance. The full moon is the new moon. Remember Jerusalem. All praise to the Almighty Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Have a beautiful day, family, and I love you.